Creating Testimonials and Contact Sections In this video, we will be going over how to create the testimonials and contact sections of your portfolio. This will involve learning how to use the Glide Show and Split Layout Photo features, formatting quotes, and adding hyperlinks and buttons. First, we will be adding the testimonial section. Having some words from your previous employers or your clients can be very meaningful for anyone who happens across your page. Gather one or two sentences from each contact along with their name and organization. We're going to use the Glide Show feature to highlight the testimonials in an interesting way. Begin by pulling up the layout options and click Glide Show. Again, you'll be taken to a separate page with a photo upload navigation bar. In this case, we will be choosing a relatively neutral image as this will become the background to display our testimonials. When you've chosen your image, click Save to go back to your main portfolio page. You'll see that the photo you've selected takes up the whole screen and continues when you scroll. We're going to add the quotes to the white box that has been placed over your image. Begin by clicking the plus sign in the white box and selecting text. Create an H1 Testimonials heading for the section. Then copy the testimonials you've collected from your outline and paste into the text section on your Spark page. Click on your first testimonial and choose Quote from the text formatting options. Follow suit with the remaining testimonials until they are all formatted as quotes. We've chosen to right align the name, location, and organization of the person the quote is from on a separate line to differentiate the information. Next, click anywhere on your background photo and three options will appear. Edit photo, focal point, and delete. Here we will click on focal point and a dot will appear, as well as a small preview of what your page will look like on a mobile device. Drag the dot to the point of the photo that you want to be the main focus and click save. Finally, there are three alignment options for your white content box, left, center, and right align. Click and drag the box to your preferred alignment. We've chosen center. Next, we will be creating the contact section. After looking through your whole portfolio, this will be where any potential employers can find out how to get in contact with you. This will give us a chance to explore the last photo layout option on Spark, split layout. So we will create our H1 contact title, Then click Split Layout on the Layout menu. This option allows for one half of the screen to contain a photo and the other to contain a photo, text, button, or video. We will click Text, create an H2 title that acts as a call to action for anyone on the site. A short line like Get in Touch or Let's Connect to get them interested in reaching out. Adobe Spark doesn't have an option to create a contact form. So below your call to action, just paste in any information you'd like hiring managers to be aware of. In general, your email and phone number should be more than enough. Even just your email address should be fine. Under this is the chance to link to anything else a potential employer may want to see, such as a LinkedIn profile. We will learn to do this in two ways. First, we will learn how to create a link as a button, then as a hyperlink. To create a button, click the plus sign, then click button. A small window will pop up where you can write the text you'd like on the button, then the web address that you'd like the button to link to. After you've entered this, choose your button's alignment, then press save. Your other option here is to create a hyperlink. For this, you will click and add text with whatever it is you'd like to say, then highlight your word or phrase and click the hyperlink button. Once again, a window will appear where you can paste in your web link, then press save. Lastly, you'll add a photo to the other half of your split layout. Click the Add Your Image button. The Add Photos navigation bar will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. Click Upload a Photo and choose the image you'd like to represent your content section. We recommend a professional image of yourself or something related to your work. Click anywhere on the image and two options will appear. Focal point and replace. Choose focal point and once again a dot will appear on your image. Drag it to your face or wherever you'd like the image to be focused. Press save in the upper right corner to see your completed contact section. There is a button in between the two halves of the section. 
By clicking this, you can change the orientation of the photo from the left side to the right side and vice versa. Once you're happy with this, you've officially completed your portfolio. In the next video, we will learn how to preview and publish your final page. Here's a preview of what your testimonials and contact section should look like when they're completed. To see yours, click the preview button in the top menu bar.